Trump phobia has gripped EU. European officials are now concerned that if Trump returns to the White House, their carefully designed sanctions against Russia might face a potential derailment. Trump is a trade man. He cares more about trade than USA's geopolitical alliances. And that is why Trump's possible re-election has sparked a wave of preparation in Brussels. Here's a look at why the EU's leaders are rethinking their sanctions strategy and how they plan to outlast any potential Trump effect on the West's stance towards Russia. To understand the EU's current apprehension, one must revisit the Iranian nuclear deal. During his first term, Trump unilaterally pulled the US out of the internationally agreed framework, leaving the EU scrambling to uphold it without Washington support. Now, European leaders are wary of a repeat in the Ukraine war, and they have reasons to be. The sanctions on Russia directly affect European economies, and a sudden policy U-turn could append their entire stance. If Trump were to cut back on sanctions, the EU could find itself standing alone against Russia. As we know it, Washington enforces sanctions with sweeping powers that the EU simply does not possess. Translation: If Trump drifts away, Europe's sanctions will be far harder to implement and enforce without American muscle. Europe is now looking to strengthen its sanctions against Moscow with an array of new measures. Think of it as adding super glue to make sanctions Trump proof. Here is what is on the table. Number 1, catch all clauses. These are essentially the bureaucratic equivalent of putting extra locks on the doors. EU officials are exploring ways to create broader catch all sanctions clauses that would let them intercept Russia bound shipments based on suspicion alone. For instance, if a shipment is going to cross Russia on route to Central Asia but looks illogical, customs agents could seize it. Number 2, longer asset freezes. As it stands, the EU's freeze on Russian central bank assets must be renewed every 6 months by member states. With Trump looming large in their minds, some EU policy makers have suggested extending this to 36 months. Number 3, oil shipping curbs. Another initiative involves tightening restrictions on Russian oil shipments. But with all these measures, would EU be able to isolate Russia economically even without US's support? As Trump himself has hinted, he does not see eye to eye with the EU on trade or foreign policy. Recently, he compared the bloc to a mini China, highlighting what he sees as a 312 billion dollar trade deficit in favor of Europe not exactly a ringing endorsement of the EU as a trade partner right in fact it shows trump may ditch eu and embrace the booming russian economy so eu might be scrambling to further boost sanctions on russia they won't carry the same weight without us's support trump's focus would be on to end the war in ukraine as soon as possible and kick start the process of reconciliation with the kremlin Trump on several occasions has argued that he could cut US aid to Ukraine if he returns to the White House. He has also dodged questions whether he wants Kyiv to defeat Moscow instead claiming that he could end the war within 24 hours. Last week the GOP nominee even insisted that Zelensky should never have let the war start that war is a loser.